is so a tricky 91 twist. So is when you did your first yes. ever film. Yes, Idi Coco in the tricky, tricky twist. twist. And would you believe if I told you our main location? What was your main location? The Karen President's house. The yeah. Idi Coco. How would people feel seeing me as an Uber driver, especially yeah. considering the society we so live in? Initially, when I started, Chica was hiding my face behind the face mask. Yeah. But along the line, I realized that man, this is better than going to steal somebody's money. Yeah, I look better, man. <laughs> yes, this is the great Idi Coco. I just got stripped, stripped by Sika said. <laughs> Can you put your clothes on the table? Cause it's time to stay it all. Tell a lie, no, you won't be able. Cause the night you tell it all. Cause I'm gonna strip you down. Strip you down. Cause I'm gonna strip you down. Strip you down. Town. Okay. Yeah. Hello. 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 Mr. Augustine Abe. Yeah. AKA yeah. Edi Coco. Oh, <laughs> am I singing it right? Yeah. Edi Coco. Fula Bebe. Alu Bebe. No. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> How mm. are you? I'm fine, how about you? I am so how excited to have you here. Thank you. Can Thank you tell? Yeah. I'm super excited. Well, well, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. can tell. Yes, can tell. it's such an honor to have you here. Yeah, I honor. want you to be comfortable though. Do you want to yeah. take off your batakari? Yeah, you can take off your shoes. My shoe. You know, yeah. feel free. This is your place. The batakari, the batakari. Yes. But I carry Throw it somewhere. How do I look? You look sharp. Do I look like a human being? Of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> you look My sharp. Shoe, yeah. Take off your shoes. Okay. Feel free. Yeah. Yes. Free. Thank you. Ah, relax. Thank You've come you. home. You. Yes, I'm home. Yes. Yeah. We even gave you some wine. In fact, we should have called you and asked if you wanted beer, yeah. apetishi, apio. No, 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 no. Apetishi asked for that one. No, it's too, this, it's too hard. The one who sang against it is dead. Is dead. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so we got you some wine. Yes, wine is okay. Do you like wine? Yes, Please yes. feel free. Thank you. Should we do a toast? Yeah. What are yes, we toasting wine. to? Oh, to a great um, day. A great day, mm. okay. A sunny day. A sunny day. And all that we wish ourselves. I love that. Yeah, and of you. course, having you on my seat. Yes. Oh, yes, okay. Yes. Mm. You are such a nice person. Oh, thank mm. you. Was like, hey, come up, it's nice. Uh, fine, pa. Hey, it, it tastes like mm -hmm. heaven, but it looks like paradise. <laughs> Let me have another gulp. Mm. I am going to use that now. Mm, this nice. tastes like heaven, but it looks like paradise. paradise. I love it. <laughs> so tell me, when was the last time you were actually in front of cameras, sitting down, doing an interview? Well, interesting. I haven't done an interview in a very long time. Yeah. Very, very long time, I think. Back in the days when we, were, we used to do a lot of movies, mm. we used to go to TV stations, TV3, mm. to promote our movies. I think that's when I went to the studio. But for a very long time, I'm a bit camera shy these days. These days? Uh, Why? Because uh, the film industry took a nosedive. Yes. In, 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 I think in 2016, mm. 2016, when the uh, the decoders uh, could have come with VCD or DVD players. Mm. But unfortunately, they came with pen drive slots. And so it affected the film industry. Because you guys were not familiar with that technology. Yes. And you know, apart from that, people out there who normally buy our movies yeah. complain mm. about the cost of the movies. You understand? Okay. And you know, pen drives are expensive. Mm. Blank pen drives are expensive. On the average, a pen drive will cost about 40 Ghana, 50 Ghana, a blank pen drive, an empty one. Mm. And as soon as you put a movie on it, definitely the price will shoot up to about yeah. 60 Ghana. Yeah. And that is uh, five American things of Gary. <laughs> okay. You know. So mm -hmm. somebody will prefer to buy the Gary. The Gary instead of the movies. So, so say, huh. Okay. So that is one problem that I think we you have. Are, Maybe you are those having. who brought in the decoders, if they had listened, 
and they had brought in decoders that could play BCDs and DVDs. Okay. The industry would have been saved. Okay. That's how, how I you see feel. It. Because so there were three replicating companies in Ghana. Mm. They were actually manufacturing the VCDs and the DVDs. And they had to fold up. Interesting. Yes. We had ARN at Tema. We had SKD, Medina, and Accra Sounds mm. at Lubuashi. Mm. And, you know, some of us were doing well. We had um, shops at Opera and um, KJTR and um, later Adisha Market and Cantamanto. You had shops? Yes, I had a big shop at Opera. Okay. Yeah, so I was actually selling movies. So the Monday morning, we could sell about 30,000 copies of our movies. Imagine you make even one CD. Just one CD profit on a movie. That's interesting. Yes. So when people would walk into and your store... And we were going to the factories and we, we kept... You know, when, when a good movie comes out, yeah. you know, you'll be surprised at the way people... People would buy it. Too nice this and it would be interesting because they'll come to your store and then they'll see you. They'll see you. you and know. then it's part of the attraction. Uh -huh, you see? So but you're basically we've, saying... We've lost that yes. currently. Yes. And so I think that that is a big blow. And we are just praying that there's a way that this could be brought up. If brought back, if yeah. we can have even people who can invest into the production of uh, pen drives, mm. I believe that the film it industry would will still be on its feet. Okay. But now, I don't know Inquiry. what's happening. It's not going like it used to. It used to yes, go. And, so that, so that companies like DSTV, all those companies, you believe actually was the downfall of our movie oh, industry? Oh, I wouldn't say that. You see, I would... Look at, I want to look at it this way. As for TV, mm. whatever we make from TV is just an additional income. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's a different thing where you're producing a movie for a TV station. Mm. Then that one, you have been commissioned. Like we had Deadly Voyage. Mm. Deadly Voyage is basically a TV production. Oh my goodness. But our films are made for the cinema halls. Yes. Unfortunately, when Night le Life left Accra, Due to the Emma Kum 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 Kum, you remember? Hey. You remember the Emma Kum Kum You are taking me way back. Yes. And then <laughs> Night Life left. So, this uh, cinema halls like uh, Ghana Film Theatre, yes, yes. Rest Mini Theatre in Kumasi, mm. we lost a few of them, yeah. Few, almost all of them. Some of them were turned into church halls, others became uh, shopping malls. Mm. So, that was when we moved from exhibition to distribution mm. on VCD and DVD. So that took over. And that became a very lucrative Business, market. Yes. So what we're doing is that after the film has been exploited on uh, the market, the film market, it is now uh, sent to the TV stations. You will go to the TV station and give an old film and true butter. They will use your advertising space or your airtime there to promote a new film that you have done. Mm. So I see the TV more as a, the TV stations as a way of promoting our movies, movies. on the market. Yes. You understand? Yeah. Uh -huh. So <clears throat> when we lost the market, the attention now is to turn to TV. Yeah. But would TV be able to um, give us, uh, or are we, would we be able to recoup our cost of investment yes. from TV? Yes. That's a big question. Yes. Unless the TV stations are ready yeah. to, to, to finance our movies. Mm. But unfortunately, if we have to call a spade a spade, what do we see? The same TV stations have gone for 15-year-old, 20-year-old, three novellas mm. you know, from Brazil, from uh, what do you call Philippines. it? From Philippines. From uh, Malaysia. From China, from India. Yes. And now you find these Indians speaking our local dialects. Mm because of that <laughs> so and so they've taken over they've taken a, 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 a <clears> over <throat> and they it's gradually getting to a stage where um, or given the next two three years i believe it will be difficult to see a ghanaian film if something is not done, done. about it interesting yes because yeah. in nigeria i'm told they have the same situation mm. but they they have gone about it in such a way that they have a law which says that 70 percent of TV content is supposed to be local. Exactly. So the TV stations themselves are chasing the local producers yes. and the local artists yes. and all that. Yes. So and all the same telenovelas are shown, yeah. but they are shown after peak time, after 10 30. Mm. But what do we see here? Broad Sunday, uh, uh, Sunday morning, broad day, 
and you find kissing scenes on our TVs. Our children are being subjected to watch culture, which is alien to us. Interesting. Yes, and a friend was chatting with me. He said, oh, recently somebody had a, an, a, an outdoor ring, or mm. no, an engagement, mm. you know, marriage ceremony, mm. and he wore a turban. Because we've been influenced yes. by the Indian and, and Bollywood that's movies. That's the debilitating effect that that is having on us. Film is culture. Yes. Today, people are wearing jeans all over because of cowboy films. Mm. Yes. And even if the, the, the fabric is dirty, they call it dirty jeans. <laughs> when it's torn, it's tattered jeans. You understand? I mean, tell me, which fabric can be appreciated when it's dirty? But because we've watched this from cowboy films, yeah. and the effect, the powerful effect of film. Yeah. Yet you cannot tell me that the jeans we see is stronger than our kente. It is not. Mm. You understand? Even if somebody is, is, is to dress formally, mm. he has to wear a suit. And that is borrowed from the James Bond films, foreign stuff. So that's how powerful film is. Yes. When the Nigerians took over, what happened? Today, you and I can say Tofi Agwa. Yes. And we know that it means God forbid. For film, is a very powerful tool. It's very powerful tool. Yes. So yeah. the powers that be, I will use this medium and pass it through you. Let <laughs> them know. It's too much of a burden, no, but I'll try. there's a way out. Okay. They should find a way of saving this industry because oh, yeah. the industry was really employing a lot, lot of, of people. people you know we'll get back to the kissing okay in the in the indian f in the films yeah. we'll get yeah. back there yes. but yeah. let's <laughs> take a walk down <laughs> memory lane yeah. you know and all the things you've achieved all the projects you were in um could you remember the first film you were in oh yes um, it all started from school days you know when i was 11 years mm. 12 years there about yes i went through a school that uh, treated drama with a lot of seriousness it's a Kukwimli. the school is known as panama school mm. and we used to have these juvenile theater competitions at the arts council of ghana mm. so i i just got into it by chance i was not a member of the drama group okay but somebody fell sick and they had already rehearsed, and so they were going to perform the play at the art center. Okay. So um, the drama mistress, Mrs. Ayi, contacted my class teacher. I was just in class, I think class six thereabout. Wow. And then so the class teacher said, well, I have been reading. Normally when we are having English, mm. I read in class. Mm. So I was asked to hold the fort because they have used up almost all the players, all the members of the drama group. So that's how come I, I perform in the dirtiest, the, 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 the title of the play is the dirtiest, the biblical story mm. about somebody who was forgiven, who was his debt, and then he went holding somebody. Okay, uh -huh. so, so you were not it. a drama student? I was, I just got into it. I didn't go, I didn't do drama anyway. It's, it's talent, but you know, I remember after that play, mm. You know, the following year we had the, another competition. Mm. Then um, I became the leader of the drama group. Yes. Uh, and the school preferred. And um, I acted in the two plays. You know, the uh, Price of Jealousy, and then an Anansi story. Anansi. I played story. Onipa and Kwekwa Nancy at the same time, and people couldn't even tell that. It was the, the same, same person. person who played because the Kwekwa Nancy role, I'm giving a, a pot belly and then uh, my face is padded yes. and I had to wear a wig. So you can't tell. Mm. But, you know, during Ketting Call, that's when people realize that ah, it's the same person who played Onipa. Yeah. Because Onipa is killed by Owo. Okay. And Anansi outwits Oni, uh, Owo. So during Ketting Call, that was when people realized that uh, it's the same person who played. Who played both so roles. So that was when I realized that the artistic potentialities was were there. there. Yeah. Yes. So when I went through secondary school, fortunately I was in a boys' school. I went through an overhyped school anyway. <laughs> what is the overhyped school? school? I went through Presec later. Oh, why is Presec overhyped? So it's, it's overhyped when it comes to science and math quiz, you know. <laughs> I'm proud to be a, another dear. 
I'm just saying it is Yes. I know what other guys will punish me for saying mm, that. They will. But it's a good school. Yes, yes, yes. But, My brother went there. Yeah, I, it, because it happened to be a boys' school, mm. there was a drama group, but I wasn't a member of the drama group. Okay. Because I had already had some stint with drama. So I was at the, when I was at Pisek, I was doing poetry recitals at Anansi Kroom. Mm. That's the same as center on, on weekends. Yes. I do poetry recitals, and that came with some money. You know? Yes. It wasn't bad. How, how much was that money you were oh, making? Oh, I can't even remember. Maybe uh, 12 CDs in today's money. 12 CDs. <laughs> but, you know, it was something. I mean, I could, I could, I could buy a few things out of that. Yes. And I did that for some time. Yes. So after O-Level, I left, I finished O-Level in 84. Mm. And I went on in this is form in Presec. But I think what informs my acting background and drama background that I did accounting, economics, and literature. Wow. In sixth form. Yes. The literature background is what informs the script writing and then my interest in drama. Yes. But I went on to the School of Administration and qualified as an accountant. Mm. So I have a Bachelor of Science degree in Administration, accounting option. Mm. And I left School of Administration in 91. I finished this form in 86. Yes. Did my national service and went to. So I can proudly say that the former president uh, was my lecturer. And then I was already Edi Koko. Yes. Uh, he taught me commercial law in first year. Interesting. And company law in second year. Yes. He was then Dr. Mills. Got but you. later on, he became Professor, Professor Mills. Professor so, Mills. So my records at School of Administration is there. When I was at School of Administration, I had already become uh, a popular actor mm. because I was doing TV theater at the time. Yeah. So the TV theater is where the Idikoko play came, came from. from. And then I did something with Nafti. Yes. And so I won in 1989, Jima Windows script, you know, uh, Ajua Window. Yes. F.E.S. Uh, father. Ma yes. Yes, I acted a lead role in his final year work i was and you won the award yes i won the nafti best actor award yes and had some fat money from sic love to see when you say so, fat money I oh, get it very envelope excited. was big you mm. know at the time it was good money yeah so i, I love the money aspect so <laughs> i won that award and then uh, that was in 89. yes but before then i had won an award as a result of the idikoko character so the just Edi to understand, yes. the Idikoko name came from a character that you played. Yes, I played. I played. I played that character in nineteen, I think nineteen eighty, when we were in first year, mm. nineteen eighty eight, eighty nine. Thereabout. Mm. I did the first one we did was the title was the game, okay, in which we adapted for TV. So there was Baba Tunde, which was played by Mass Brody Mens. Yes. Then the main character. There's Idikoko, mm. then there's Awero, Aduke, and then uh, um, Yakubu. Yes. These were the main characters. Mm. And Idikoko is a, a scum, a beggar. But he uses his mind, mind. to maneuver. Yes. And yes. so once Papa Jude is a polygamist, has a, an old wife, you know, who is, uh, who is almost his age yes. and he could have kept that old wife but he went in for a younger one Just that like is they do. Awero. that's what like they do yeah today. so the Awero was having an affair secret affair with mm. the today's taxi driver mm. and idikoko knows mm. so once idikoko knows that's idikoko's game mm. idikoko will use it to his advantage yes so he takes money from baba today because baba today needs information yes then he goes to take something from the first wife then, because he has to keep our real secret, mm. he takes money from our So he's playing the game. Then at the end of the day, he goes to Yakubu, the bad one, to claim big money. Yes. And that is his game. Mm. Uh, and that one won uh, the Leisure Awards, uh, Best Script, and then I won the Best TV Personality Award. Back then, year. yes. Then I did a sequel to the game. The title of that one is The Message. I think that was in 89. Mm. And that one, for the first time in the history of the Leisure Awards, I was able to combine the Best Actor and the Best TV Personality Award. Together. Yes. And I'm talking about awards which were given 
through opinion polls. You don't need any jury. You don't need any group of people to say he has won. Yes. People had to vote throughout the country. Got you. In every region. Okay. Yes. So that so was as how, opposed that was to how popular it was. So it was through opinion polls. polls. People had to buy the newspaper, cut a portion of the newspaper. And I was a student. I couldn't be afford the newspaper. How, how many could I have bought? Goodness. So people bought and then they, they had to write to who their best actor. And then mail it. And, and mail. And mail. So it went to the mirror. So it was throughout the country. Interesting. And I got huge votes. Those days, it was, used to it, run the streets. it was difficult to come out. You were, I remember but you one were day I was things. at GBC, where he has and I was hungry. And I went to a public school around. There was a teacher. They were at assembly who pointed at me. The school children followed me. It, mm. was, it was something. I couldn't buy the food. I had to come back to GBC. Wow. And the whole place was packed. Wow. They were screaming. So before I left school, my name was already a I household. Did. Word, you know. yes. And I followed that up. We followed that up with the dish of a Very, very funny film, you know. Very, very funny. With Mac Jordan. Yeah. The late Mac Jordan. So that's my story. And then when I finished um, Legon in 91, mm. before we could do our national service, I felt that the name had become so big, big that. I had to do the first film. Yes. So that was when we did so the Tricky Twist. So 91 is when you did your first yes. ever film. Idi Coco, in the Tricky, tricky twist. twist. And would you believe if I told you our main location? What was your main location? The current president's house. Really? That was how daring I was. Right now? Yes. Where If I should president show you that, that was where Akufado we shot. Is. Yes. Is where that, you were shooting? Yes. I went in there. I was then doing, about to start doing my service at GBC. Yes. And I thought that oh, this is a nice house. Why don't I go and talk? And she has such a nice, the madam, the, the mother, his mother, very nice, friendly person. Oh. Very friendly person. May his, may her soul so rest, rest in, peace. in peace. She was so kind, and she asked me to go and talk to his daughter. Yes. That is a president's sister. So I went to their hotel. Not reach, uh, is it not? No, no, Ringway Hotel, where uh, the Society General Headquarters is mm -hmm. currently. Mm -hmm. the, the hotel was there, and I went and, and, and spoke. I said, You are daring. Mm. You know, that was how daring I was. So, do you think the character Idi Koko actually sort of like there's some sort of synergy and similarity between who you are as a person? Because he was also very daring, very yes. sly. Yes, you see, maybe at times after. You play that crazy role for some time. You become that person. Yes. You become then the character. You start, you know, imbibing the character. Yes. And then you start leaving the character. Yes. But then you have to find a way to drive that character out of your system. Mm. Because if you're not careful, uh, you'll be in trouble. You will be in trouble. Because that character is just, I just, it's beautiful when you walk into it. Yeah. At times when I walk into it, I don't want to come out. Yes. It's so enjoyable. It's fun. Yes. You understand. But then you still have to be able to separate, separate the character separate and the person. And the person. It's important. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you've given us such a beautiful history yeah. of where you started, all the things you've achieved. I didn't even know you've won that many awards. Because mm -hmm. I know you've won awards. And I know the name Idi Koko is like so popular and respected. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you leave our screens. Mm -hmm. I think that what, what happened Sky, if I have to be very frank with you. Please, tell us. I moved. Okay. I moved. I think my, my accounting background helped me. Okay. I would not sit here and point my left finger at the film industry. I have really benefited from the film industry. I, I'm not the type, because I didn't go into it as an actor. Mm. If I had gone into it as an actor, maybe... I would have told a different story. Yeah. But maybe I would have practiced the accounting. Yes. But because I went into it as a producer, yes. I think that it was worth my while. Yes. And that was why I couldn't do much of TV. So you and I did a lot, lot of, movies of movies. Because I did a Stolen Bible, which uh, my wife wrote. I, I came up with a story, and she, she did a screenplay and everything. And with Stolen Bible, just one movie in the year 2000, we were able to buy an uncompleted story building in Dansoma. With just the process that we got from Stolen Bible. Mm. With my first film, before I could do national service, I had a van. 
with a TV in it. I had a production van. Wow. So when we went, people were like, ah, well, is the guy is doing national service. He has a, a bus with TV. And because I did a film before national service, all over, any time people came to GBC, they wanted to show their movies. I had to show. Every evening I had yeah. an exhibition somewhere. It so got to a point I was doing 13 cinema halls wow. every night. So which means... And so I had exhibition personnel and they were going out and every Monday morning, every uh, Monday morning after the weekend, they yeah. would come and then I would just run into the band. Yeah. It was very lucrative. So this it was very perception lucrative. that we have that, you know, the legends weren't paid well, you know, it's now that people in the industry now are benefiting from your heart, sweat and tears and you opening doors. I mean, what do you think about that? Because you, see, what, what, you don't blame the industry. Yeah, what I would say industry. is that, you see, after making a good name, you must find a good place to keep it. Mm. You, know, you understand? You have made a name. Mm. It's become a big name. But that doesn't come with money. So how do you commercialize the name? Got you. That's what makes it showbiz. Yes. There's a show aspect and then there's a business aspect. Mm. You understand? So after my first movie, I got my own equipment. Wow. I had my lights. I had, you know, and then I followed it up with Matters of the Heart. Okay. Tricky Twist was followed by Matters of the Heart. Okay. Matters of the Heart, believe you me, it was a big hit. It was a big hit. Mm. And I, I'm one person who is also daring that if I know that this is where I can shoot, I'll go and look for the place. Okay. And if I know that this is the artist I have to use, I have to go and get that artist. So it's just were, talking. So yeah. there were people like Grace Norte who were very popular at the time. I used Alexander Dia, who acted in Heritage Africa. Mm. When Heritage Africa was done, I was a small boy. Mm. And she, he, she played the supporting lead role. But I went to talk to her. Once I know that Shika is good mm. and she can handle the role, I come for her. Yes. And so by the time, you see, when you have a good script, 50% mm. of the work is done. And then when you cast well, 30% mm. is done. Yeah. So definitely if you're bringing out a film, you will need a poster. Yes. Whose face are you going to put on the poster? So it's marketing. Yes. You have to make sure that the film is sold. Yes. Before. So I think that 95% of the films I did were successful movies. Okay. And but because it's understanding. I, because I produced them. But it's also understanding yes. the business, you know, uh -huh. and how to invest back how in the business. Invest, yes. Because a lot of times now, and I'm sure you've seen it, we had legends that came out asking for arms, mm. you know, begging for support, you know. Yeah. You've never done that. We've never seen Indiegogo come out and say, oh, can you please help me? Mm. But now it seems like because you reinvested back yeah. in yourself, yes. right? Yes, and, and I, I, I have a, a strong feeling that um, we, 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 would, we all stand a chance of benefiting mm. if we had also looked at the business aspect. Okay. It's still not late. It's still not late yes. because people went into music when we were young but currently you can see that musicians are making money yeah, in Ghana. Good money. Yes. Yeah. Yes. so so the same thing can be said about the film industry those who went in as producers mm. i believe that most of them if you should interview them they will tell you that they they they, they, they did well mm. but the the performance too could have done that yes you but know they you didn't. act and then when you make some money you try and produce yes but you they were just people. acting. But maybe most of them depended so much on the acting, acting aspect. I won't blame them because yeah. some of them were doing acting on a, a part-time basis. Yeah. I went into the film industry as a full-time business. Yeah. And I know there's nothing like social security. And also, at least, I have to try and take certain steps that would yield income. So that at the end of the day, I would sit back and say, oh, it was worth my while. Yes. yes. Let's talk about it's, your daring It's just nature. unfortunate that it's going down. And I wish it had gone down when I had hesitated, when I had left the world. But seeing the demise of the industry at this time is worrying. So I think we should all oh. come together. Don't People say that like when you had left the world. Oh, I, I'm saying that I wish it had happened when I've left. When you'd left, yes. yes. At, the, at the age of uh, 
126. 126. <laughs> my my grand uncle was 106. And wow. I want to challenge him. So okay. I'm so you are going for 126. Yes, yes. I'll wow. I can't, I, can't, I can't wait to see and what you look like. And before I leave, I'll pass the 99 tricks of Idi Koko. I love to it. The generation. Yes. Yes. And then we can also that, learn yes, from that. Yeah, Tia will benefit. Uh, <laughs> Tia will benefit. She will benefit. Uh, will we'll all benefit. She, uh, Richie will benefit. You all benefit. Yes. yes. We the can't wait for that. Tricks of we cannot wait for that. Yes. Can I tell the people how we met? Oh, you, know, you can. Recently. Recently. Yes. Do you want to yes. uh, leak out my secret? Is it so? Is it a secret? Yes, that's how I keep it. Interesting. But I enjoy driving, so you can. You so can we can talk it. about oh, why it. Not talk about because it. it was such a yes. beautiful surprise yes. when you know one of our family members at Lynx yes. came in and said, "You won't believe who's outside." Yes. You know, and I was like, "Who?" He's like, "Oh, the Uber driver is actually Ed Coco." <laughs> We're like, nah, stop it. He's like, no, the Uber <laughs> driver is Ed Coco. <laughs> why is it that everybody calls Uber? Well, that's how we call it. What do you call it? There's Uber out there. There's uh, Bolt. Uh, Bolt. There's, there's Yango. So which one do you drive? Please, I'm not here to advertise. <laughs> they have not paid you. They, they have, have not paid you to know. advertise. They, they know. know. The most lucrative one. The most. I love that. The most lucrative one. But and I, I, I tell you, people, people don't believe it. You go out there and you see billboards and the written, you can earn 9,000. And people don't believe it. Is hey, it you true? can earn thousand, and the people don't believe it. Is it true? I am telling you, if you love how to love driving, you can. Wow. You can. So on people now they are putting on weekends they are putting nine hundred Ghana CDs aside. Okay. For thirty trips. Okay. For certain selected drivers. Mm -hmm. And then when you do thirty, you are looking at two fifty. Okay. When you do thirty trips, okay, you are looking at two fifty. So you do thirty trips on. Saturday, do 30 trips on, sun, on Sunday. Mm -hmm. It's easy to do 30 trips on Sunday, very easy. So that's because there's no traffic. In so town. that's 500. Mat that's 500 added to the 900. Wow, just for that short period. And you know, stress is thrown into the wings because you meet all kinds of refined people. Yes, they keep chatting you, you talk to them, some you have to advise. And I enjoy what I do. I'm enjoying it so much because I love driving. So Even when I'm on set, I drive. So, yes, you drive. drive yes. The decision to get into the Uber, Bolt, Yango space was because you love driving. No, that is one. And also, I felt I needed to do, I wanted to do a story. Mm. I wanted to do a script on that app. So, that was one reason. I felt that, well, let me go there and gain some experience. So, that was one. And then... When I went into it, I realized that oh, there's more to it than I thought. There yeah. More than meaning, and I, and I realized that it could be very lucrative, depend on the vehicle that you're driving. Okay. Because if you have a Toyota Yaris, which is a 1.5 liter engine car, mm. and somebody has a Kia Morning, mm. Kia Morning is 1.0. You understand? And you are taking the same fares. Of the two people, which of the, these two people do you think is wise? Kia Morning. Yes. yes. And you see the Toyota Yaris, for instance, you go there every time, a Yari. Yaris, Yari. <laughs> you have Kia Morning. In the morning, the vehicle tells you, good morning. Good morning. And then every sound that comes on your phone, yes. instead of WhatsApp and unnecessary, mm -hmm. useless messages, useless. any sound that comes is an invitation to collect money. Oh my goodness. Which is great. Great. And you don't even need to worry about the face. So did you ever feel, Yes. I am Idi Koko, the yes. Idi Koko. How would people feel seeing me as an Uber driver, especially yeah. considering the society we That's live right. in? Initially when I started, Shika was hiding my face behind the face mask. Wow. But along the line, I realized that, I mean, this is better than going to steal somebody's money. I agree. Going to ask for, uh, for 10 CDs from someone. It's honest work. It's on the, yes, yes. It's on the side. And to be frank with you, apart from that, just 2020 when the COVID came, mm. there's this small narrow parcel of land beside me. Mm. I had to sell it to a good friend. You know, I got some good money. And then my place is a one story. 
but I've turned it into a three-story by introducing pillars. Now, the ground floor is a crash. So I have a day nursery at home. And if I have to use this speed job to advertise the good school. Yes. Oslin, Great Oslin Academy. Great, Great Oslin, Oslin yes, Academy. Yes, okay. Augustine and Linda, Oslin Academy. <laughs> so I love it. That day nursery, I love children. Yes. So apart from that, the Uber, we have a day nursery. Nice. I'm into soap. We do soap, liquid soap. You do yeah, liquid yeah. soap? Yes, yes. And apart from that, when I get a chance to act, why not? Yes. So it's not like more like a permanent job. Yeah. But I will never stop. You will never stop Even it. if I become the president of Ghana. On oh, Sundays, how? I'll go. Imagine President Idi Koko yeah, driving so, me so on a so Sunday. The motorcade will be following. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> It. Yeah, because you see, it's apart from the money, the satisfaction that you get, yes, you cannot describe it. Meeting all these people, these people. What is the people. most interesting experience you've had in the? The Uber? most interesting experience I had was the day I decided to step out of the house as early as three a.m. Wow! I got to Kwame Nkrumah Circle, and then a request came. Ah, I attempted to go and pick the person around Alaju. When I got there. He stated that he was around at Chimota. Mm. So I just decided Focus to forget about, about it. Yeah. So he cancelled the, the, the order. Then I came towards, uh, I got another request at, you know, the, uh, the old overhead bridge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I went to park under the overhead bridge. Ah, it took some time. I was not seeing anybody. Ah, after a while, just when I decided to move, because it was a bit dark, the back door opened and when i turned there was this midget a very short man and he was bare chested he had a, <coughs> a bossa shot on and his uh, singlet was around his neck you are joking i am being frank with you then he said what is wrong with you now driver why you don't own the ac i order you on no on the ac you can't pack here you don't own the ac what then i said where Please, translation. I said, you shouldn't dare mm. enter the car. You are asking for AC. You are bare chested. <laughs> I don't know whether you are from the spirit land what? or you are from uh, wherever. Don't step foot in this car. Wow. If not, I'll move the car and you would. And the script man, I kept screaming. The next thing I had to drive off at top speed. And the midget fell out? I know, his arms were twisted like this. Oh, and God. He, I don't know how he was able to order. His <laughs> arms were like this, his feet. He was just... Charlie, it was so frightening. Mm. That day I couldn't wait. At 3.30 yeah, in the morning. Yes. And I have picked somebody all the way to the back of a Charlie Boutier somewhere in a mm. bushy area. After dropping, a request came and he was still in the bush. So I said, oh, let me just wait for the five minutes mandatory yes. time yes. and then find a, a beautiful way to cancel the, the, trip. the trip. The next thing I knew, within that five minutes, the back door opens and here was a lady in track suit okay. with a very big tank. Okay. My dear sister, I can't create a human being, <laughs> but hmm, the least said I would have a human being I saw. If looks can kill, I'm being frank with you. You would not be the here. The car was so huge. <laughs> and she just sat at the back of the car with her head disheveled, mm. folded her arms and sat and said, mm. go now. Mm. I was so scared. <laughs> so I realized, at times you meet very nice people, but this one wasn't <laughs> friendly at all. So I looked at my phone and I could tell that he oh was, he was going towards Spintes. Mm. So we started moving. Mm -hmm. I was playing music. He said, me, I don't understand what you are playing, you know. Put, on, put off that thing. Put it off quickly. I don't want, I just want silence in this car. I don't understand. So I went off. We were going. She was so rude. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah but, but then the day, the day you uh, came to meet me outside, when yes. I, I brought the lens. Yes. You see? It was divine. So divine. God was actually directing me here. Yes. And you see, God chose that medium. Medium. Yes. So that you and Something I. Something that I was doing that I thought, oh, 
This one, is, I'm just managing. But you see, that is how God works. That is how I God I believe works. so much in God's directions and yeah. his guidance. So and if you're doing work, yes. as long as it's honest yes. work, do it with all your heart because yes. you don't know the and doors you, will open. You, when you were, you, were, you, were, you were so warm, the reception oh. you gave Tia Richie that day, it's a memorable day. I felt so good. Yes. And your wife and my, came as well. Yes. Later, she was uh, actually acting in uh, the Inspector Bidi Akun yes, series. She did. So she was at the DSTV office. So you picked they, her, you yeah, brought, her, her, brought her, and it was so great. Yes, yes. Marriage has been good, because eh? I can tell oh, you're both, you're both a, still... More than a sister. You We've know, done 25 years of so, meeting. Is it more than Knocking. a sister? <laughs> I'm more than a sister. <laughs> okay. You see, marriage is only nice when you see your wife as your sister really yes because what you will not do to your sister you will eh, not do to, to your, your wife, wife. I and like what you that. don't want anybody to do to your sister uh, to your your sister mm -hmm. you will not do it to your wife i like that. when you see her as somebody from a different family yes and then the best advice i got on our wedding day was from professor kwashigen's wife you know what she told us what did she say she said never ever see linda as your wife she should remain your girlfriend forever i like and that i think that's the best advice so you guys have been boyfriend and girlfriend it's the best so for I over still, 25 her number, years her phone, we should check my phone mm. her, her name is still safe sweetie i still call her babe <laughs> and then so when that happens you see that void mm. has been filled yes so you won't have you have one person serving a dual role. I like that. Instead of having two people. Yes. A girlfriend and a wife. Mm. And you have all in one person. So do you do romantic dates and things like that? Romantic dates. Mm. Yeah, I think the you last can, one you we see, had you was seem a, very romantic. a dinner's uh, concert. Yes. That was, that was a nice It was nice, date. eh? We went towards the swimming pool area. You Tia hold, took us round. Were you holding hands? Oh, it was nice. And Tia <laughs> brought some um, cocktail. Nice. Hey. And we took pictures. Oh, and then the kids, uh, my children were around. Yes. You see, just last, uh, um, last two years, 2020, we had a blessing of marriage again. I love that. Because the children were not there when we had the wedding. So yes. I wanted them to witness. Yeah. Unfortunately, Koto and Wanuma, my son is just like me. Is, it, is he also going into acting? He acts. He, he raps. Does you know, he? But he does well. So when we were taking pictures, he was like, Dad, look at you. You are shy. You can't look my straight in the face. Look oh. at what you're doing. I, you know, and I, I, I felt it. It, yes. was, it was nice. Yes. You know, at least when you have them also witnessing, mm -hmm. then they will know. Yes. And they grow. Because as soon as your marriage fails, the children are affected. That's true. That's true. So I would recommend that to most married couples. They should yes. have marriage blessing. It yes. doesn't cost anything. Yes. Nowadays, yes. unfortunately, the marriages within our entertainment people is not lasting. Mm. There's a lot of issues. It has to last. So what would you say it has to if last. you were to give them or give us advice? Advice. My advice is one. Once you get into it, know that it's an ordinance. Mm. Just like the priest who swear an oath of celibacy. So that is an ordinance. So marriage is an ordinance. So it is for better, for worse. Mm. Don't ever look at the exit. Mm. Some people go into it already looking at the exit. I think you may come and work here. If it doesn't work, I will waste my time. Yeah. You see, when you look at the exit, you find reasons to exit. But if it's not an option, then you fight. Yeah, so when you want, doing courtship, you should understand, you should know what you're doing. You should go into it with a mindset that it's forever, yeah. it's sealed. Yeah. And then God should be the center. Mm. That's why I believe in church marriage. Because with God, everything is possible. Yeah. When you tell yourself that it will work, it will work. It will work. And if God is at the center, oh, it will work. It will work. Prayers. You know, in a, we have, I have a son and a, do a daughter. Mm -hmm. When we are having money devotion, it mm -hmm. is my daughter who prays. That's the nice. young. Yes. young member of the family the, or the youngest member of the family yeah. and she's so quick to pray to pray and she's so good when she's praying Hallelujah. and i like the things she said, she said. no bad devil should enter this house I said, hey, can <laughs> we like, have a good, good devil, devil. <laughs> <laughs> the 
but you know, yes. it's, it's, it's nice. It's, it's nice. nice. Yeah. It's nice to have a family. It yes. gives you peace of mind. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming today. Yes, thank it's been you so too. great talking thank to you. you. Thank you. Thank In you. fact, your great wisdom. Great talking to you too. You are a great person. Thank you. I wish I was interviewing you. Oh. Yes. Maybe next time you interview yes, me. Yes, because Charlie, you are something else. Oh. Yeah, you, you are warm. <laughs> Uh, you remind me of Oprah Winfrey. Stop it. Oh, it's true. Stop it. You, you don't feel Oprah Winfrey yourself. I'm feeling even the money. I'm yeah, also feeling yeah, the you money. Feel it, you make it. Apple <laughs> production. Look, Michael Jackson didn't allow anybody to interview him. He didn't grant interview to anybody. But yeah. the one he had with Oprah Winfrey yes. was a memorable one. Yes. He was allowed to shed tears. You see, an interviewer should make you feel at ease. Mm. People think that I don't like uh, granting interviews. I don't like, but you see, when at the end of the day, the interview projects you, when it adds something to your, mm -hmm. your, 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 your brand, mm -hmm. then you want to have it again and again. Yeah. And I think you're one person who makes the interviewee yeah. feel relaxed Aww. and at home. I'm and glad. it's a plus, Thank it's you. a feather in your cap. Yeah, so keep it Love up. it. And what I've learned from you today is the esophagus that is within the oblucotum yes. has flabbergasted e. my mind. You and also has have it too. Flattened my heart. <laughs> <laughs> flattened no, my heart. Yes. And it has made you a bombastic element yes. of the catagrostic family. Yes. There we go. See you soon. <laughs> See. Nice, nice, Oh nice, my nice. goodness, thank you for coming. Oh, thank you too. That was thank awesome. you too. Well ah. done. At least I'll just continue and have my supper. Cause it's time to stay it all. Tell a lie, no, you won't be able. Cause tonight you tell it all. Cause I'm gonna strip you down. Strip you down. Cause I'm gonna strip you down. Yeah.